Okay, so Black makes their run. I call him Black. He's really not, you know, these could all be up here just because of, but I like to keep it near the person who started it, I guess. I don't know. Um, the third player here has the first shot with Black. He screws up. Fuck. I ran off the blue because I can't tell the difference color-wise. Well, we'll undo that. But he bought a green share, which put a pile of money in. Oh. Not all of that. <coughs> oh, some of that is the runs before, but because I took the first place, I get to lay the track. Now, I guess that could serve for a competitive advantage, but I'm interested in making green great again. Uh, so I actually managed to run it out Get the additional pieces here at North Platte. Oh, we're making a mess everywhere. Um, okay, let me. I guess none of that's burning. That's good. <laughs> uh, and, uh, great. And got the. Uh, pay out up to where purple is, or, you know, as far along as they are. I got to undo Black's turn though. I spent eight and grabbed three bucks worth of uh, income on that. Black's up here, not down here. So I don't know what they're doing. But since I ran to here, I pro, well, yeah, Pueblo is a better deal. Um, so I'm probably gonna come down there. I, I don't know, you know, my token, uh, situation so I was so excited about this because it curved me up here and gets me through this cheap line through Tucumcari Albuquerque it's not a bad run I didn't have enough pieces to take me down this way blue probably can't do that they probably do not have as many pieces I'm not sure though that it was the 20 bucks into Pueblo I may not be able to go down here let me see two five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can still make it through there. And this looks like the cheapest I can do here. Denver's more valuable, but these are pretty cheap uh, spaces. So I'm gonna go through those. Now, it's conceivable that I might run some track up to a place like Denver or something if we get to the end of the game and I've made it to the coast already. But the victory points for the coast are much more important than whatever income I can make now. And I really do wanna uh, focus on making it across. I only have one extra piece now anyway. So that's the uh, third player there. Now we come up here. It also buys a green share. Still tied for a lead for green. I push up with uh, with one. I don't particularly see Casper as that important. Can I even make it there? Two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's no room to, to grab Casper. It would just be uh, pushing up. Now I could kill Green by doing that, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm beating the other people who have Green as far as I'm concerned. I've increased its value a little bit. And, you know, buying a share is a big deal in this game. It's a, it's a lot of your capability. Buying more than one share at once looks really, really tough. It may depend on the prices. Uh, maybe some people have some money to scoop up those pinks or something, which are way down here at the end of the game. Uh, I also got to run pink because of my position and pushed it. It's out of cash now, so unless people are gonna buy into it, it's not going any further this turn. Uh, I don't remember where we're looking at. Certainly not gonna cross there. Question is, so one of the questions was, could we run down and run across? And, uh, you know, if there had been piles of money on pink, making that challenge might have made sense, but I don't really want that to happen. I've got yellow. I've got two of the three companies that are running this way. <clears throat> I don't wanna see a cut happening there, so I kinda want it to go the more northerly route if possible, which looks very possible up here. We still got red and brown going 
in that northern route, but nobody else is going to interfere. So three companies can run through one one little uh, one little pass. Now over here, all I have is eighteen bucks. I think that means I have to buy pink, uh, which is at ten, and five is fifteen bucks. So yeah, buying that extra share of pink through some extra money pushed forward a little bit more. So I'm on the Billings to Butte run. My blue train has a fair amount of money, but there's sort of two good routes. I could slide to here. I want to do that no matter what. But then the question is, do I go up or do I cut through? And you can see, um, it's 16 point loss here. Like this is 16 points more. But now it's 12 points more, now it's 20 points more, now it's 16 more, now it's 12 more, now it's 8 more. And I think by counting Phoenix in, I get a little bit more money. Question is, you know, how front loaded is it? Uh, can I afford 36? Because I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Either of those works. There's not a lot of cash anywhere here. Um, this route has, I don't know, uh, that, that's this comparison. One, two bucks more that it produces, and this produces a little bit more because of Phoenix. Uh, the problem is, I gotta hit bigger monies earlier. But it does give me an extra pip, uh, an extra track location once I get across. I don't think I need that. I think I'm going to Los Angeles. So I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've got 31 bucks. I can get to here for eight. I can't get here no matter what. This would be my next move. So I'm, I'm going to delay, you know, my decision until next turn and just pay these suckers out. If I'm lucky, I'll have enough money to blast through this, but I highly doubt that, you know, I'm going to have that. It's going to take me a while to cross this barrier. And it's just a matter of, will I have enough money? After I cross here, I have a lot of cash, 10 extra bucks to begin with, which gives me maybe a space or two. But my income is going to be fairly high at that point. I should be able to make it to LA without too much problem still has plenty of operating capital. Not absolutely certain which way I want to go. I could head down here. I've already laid all my straight track, so I can't make another track lay. But I could either head down here and head for the Butte run, which then has to kind of chunk down somewhere. Or I could head up to Glasgow and run along here. Uh, both look, I mean, this stays kind of expensive for a while longer, but this has a uh, big 60 and 56 on it, so I'd have to dodge around a little bit. It's hard to tell which is going to be better. I'll look at the circumstances when I have the cash on hand. Zoomed up to the highest income again. And I'm not able to play pink because somebody holds two of the pinks now, right? This guy bought a second pink, so that's kind of a big deal is that there's not as much ability to collaborate on pink, but not that big a deal. They're out of money anyway, <laughs> you know. Um, it's not like quite, usually money seems to be your limiting factor in this game, not actions. Um, there are some times when a couple of actions in a row for a railroad is kind of nice though. There's no question of that. I've bought another pink, pushed them a little further up to Billings, and the purple railroad just catching it up with green here with several people running green it has obvious advantages in terms of being able to run a little hotter and a little further ahead of course maybe less income off the things that may be a problem with pink i've got like six of the shares already sold out out of ten it's only making half the money are there any other companies that are in that kind of straits green has three out of ten in play so far uh, nobody else, you know, has more than one share out 
and that's at most a quarter. So Pink is actually making the least revenue out of what they have, but boy, did they jump up there in terms of what they're producing. In terms of color situation, I had one of these brown pieces, and I don't know why, mixed in with the reds. Probably last time I cleaned up, I couldn't tell the difference and swept them together. Um, I've counted it up. It doesn't hurt. Red is still able to make it uh, through probably either of their preferred one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, either of their preferred pathways. They just have to get across the red line and they're close to it. So it didn't end up terrible, but yeah, the color mixture here is just horrible. These are unable to be distinguished from one another. Uh, I don't know if the original game had this kind of problem. Uh, usually Winsome's pretty good about it, but oh wow. It's a big moon out there. Um, anyway, uh, I wonder if I've caught up properly with everything. I think I did. I basically ran some extra big money here, another 14 bucks coming through here, and it didn't cost a whole hell of a lot, but Brown's running very slowly. Why are they running so slowly? Low starting capital, probably. They have a fair number of shares, though, so they should be able to... Uh, to be producing good money uh, as their income starts rising. Now, have not done green yet. And they have some cash. More complicated calculations now where people have multiple shares. So 53 bucks here divided by 10 is five round up to six. Six bucks a share has to be paid out now. Uh, 53 minus 12 plus 12, I've already paid it out. 24, 36. 53 minus 36, 47, 17. So Pink only pulls in 17 into their company treasury. Um, they're making good money for players, so they might be still a good investment because they're not that expensive. <laughs> and they might make it. They're certainly worth some victory points. Compared to their price, they're worth a lot of victory points, I think, because I think they're going to bust through here. But without constant investment, I'm not sure that they can make it. Um, they can certainly make it to Boise, and I'm sure they can make it out of here, but I don't know if they can make it to one of the final ports. And even with constant investment, it might be tough. Now, on their favor, though, they're cheap as hell. <laughs> But that extra money is not worth much. And the more of those shares disappear, the less likely we're going to be making that money. We've already got, you know, like I said, six out of those 10 shares are already gone. So, you know, we're not making much money. 17 bucks now. That's like a space. Players having significant amounts of money in their hands becoming much much more common to want to flip this so he's looking at well I want to run green um, or I want to buy a green right now greens are 16 plus 6 is 22 I have enough for that if I go first I can do it yeah if I don't go first I can't so that's kind of what's going to be happening most of the players have enough money to buy something now, and they probably want to buy it because all of these stock value, stocks are worth some victory points, and how many they're worth is hard to determine. It's not necessarily the case, you know, that the companies with the most money and the most power and whatever to get across are going to make significantly more victory points. Uh, this looks like the best victory point producer if you can buy multiple shares of it, but I don't think anybody can. They're at 16 a share, so you'd need like 32 bucks just short <laughs> to buy two pinks. Now this guy is an interesting question. So first couple say, yeah, we're gonna buy something. Same over here, we're gonna buy something. Is this guy gonna buy something? That's hard to tell. He can't, probably can't buy a green. He's got 22 bucks. Somebody's gonna run green before him, but can he buy a pink? Uh, this guy's probably buying either a green or a pink. I don't know which, you know? Uh, but probably a pink. This guy might buy one of either. 
probably can't afford one of those. Those are 24, can't tell the color, that's brown. This is, this is brown. 24 and five is 29. Maybe he can buy a brown? Is a brown necessarily worthwhile? I don't know. <laughs> kind of works in with my reds, right? Throw some more cash, get some more running on that line. Maybe that does me some good, I don't know what. But come over here and we're just not sure whether or not we're gonna get to buy something. We only have 21 bucks. Pink is currently worth, looks like 16. It's probably not gonna go up much more than that. Um, maybe 17 or 18. So I think I'm gonna be able to buy something. So yeah, I would like Especially with this guy going second, that means we get two runs of pink probably. I would like to go early in the round. What about him? I don't know. Only 23 bucks. Probably can get a pink. Is racing against him for it if it's the case? We two will take earlier and basically all the players have inverted their order completely because everybody's got money to buy something and it seems like a good idea. I don't see any terrible reason to say, yeah, next turn I'll be able to buy something more important. Um, I mean, if you completely pass, you might be able to buy one of the more expensive things, but are they more important? Is it worth not buying something every round because these shares are going to all be worth some victory points. They've all crossed here, you know, and if it sells out, it's worth another victory point, even if it doesn't make it to the end. So cheapies seem like the best investments as long as they're at all viable. Oh, so the owner of the green bought a share of green, throwing 22 bucks in or whatever, spending a pile of money here, 44 to move forward. That's gonna raise this up. But the biggie is I just crossed the Continental Divide. That gives me, I believe, 10 bucks. Mm, yep. No, that gives me an income increase of 10 bucks. It doesn't give me immediate cash. Even better, probably. So that puts this up to 63. Uh, I probably have enough to get here. I could jump into Salt Lake if I want it. I don't know how big a deal that is. We can always spur that in if we want the extra income. Um, so let's see how much more cash I have. I have enough money for one more space, which I'll take. So move to space forward brown. Now what's impressive about that green, the extra 10 buck income, that increases the total value. So now it's seven bucks over. So now they're worth 23 each. Uh, you know, I don't know how much of a big deal it is. I think I spent 22 on my share. They're still worth buying. It's just, <laughs> um, it does have a little bit more effect. If there were less shares out, it would have been a bigger deal. But with that big 10 share thing out, uh, things just keep kind of low value across the board. Uh, Brown could only move the one space because they don't want to follow that red track. They got a pile of money they can go rushing down there, but uh, whatever. And now over here on the purple, bought himself another share of the pink. You can see almost to Butte. And then his purples have also crossed the divide. Running out of money. Now the big deal here is I'm the only one with shares of it, but it's also so expensive that nobody's going to get shares, wherever it is. Baseline 34 plus, well, like 7, it's like at 41 now. It's just really hard to buy a share of something like that. And if I could get 41 together, be able to buy a couple of pinks instead, you know, <laughs> which aren't doing badly. Throwing that extra money in pretty much guarantees that it gets across into the western area at least. And it'll probably sell out, which purple is certainly not going to do. Purple's got six shares, it's just not going to happen. 
it looks like releasing a lot of shares actually is a good move and keeping the price low. Of course, you do that, you don't necessarily have the money to advance it. You have to come up with that cash on your own. Something that doesn't expand quickly isn't going to produce a lot of capital for you. More than that, not just uh, how quickly it can expand, because honestly, you can probably get the money together in the company. What's not going to produce a lot of income is when there's a lot of shares out there. Even if it expands, it's going to expand much, much faster if there are way more shares out there for your share to be worth as much as a share that's limited as. So people who started a company um, at a high price may be making more income off their companies. A high price, low share total. Maybe making a higher, higher value off that. Now, this guy is in an interesting position. He has enough cash, he could buy a pink, a green, or a brown. He doesn't have enough cash by one dollar to buy two pinks. He would certainly do that if he could. If I buy another pink, I don't get to lay any track, but I throw money into pink and other people who are in pink can do well. If I throw money into green, I'm not going to get to lay track and I'm throwing more money and more value into something else that looks probably about as valuable as pink, honestly. Probably won't sell out as easily. Pink is sort of the sale of choice. Now I already have a pink, so buying a second one will help um, my pink towards selling out. And it might help the income, but it's hard to tell with that. If I buy a brown, I'm making this work better. I'm helping, if brown were in the hands of someone who wasn't perhaps doing okay, uh, I would definitely do that. Because other people are helped more by me buying a green or a pink. Helping this guy as much as I help myself. That's the question, and I'm kind of torn. I, I would still do it if all other things were equal, but the reason I'm not sure about it is, you know, if I buy the pink, I got more cash on hand. Maybe I can buy another red, you know? <laughs> oh, how much is that worth? That, what's the big advantage to that? It's hard to tell. Red's got enough cash to make it on its own. That's not, not a big deal. Um, I'm probably not gonna sell out five shares, but who knows? Uh, there are a few turns. If income starts really roiling in, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy the pink for that reason. Because I don't want it, to... It, it's the way I hurt myself least in terms of the cash that I have on hand. But that means all I get to run is red this turn. If I bought a brown, I would get to run brown again and shoot them quite a ways forward. Yeah. yeah, this is the most likely way I'll be able to buy more reds. So we'll buy another pink. And this guy buys another pink as well. He didn't have as many interesting options. Uh, it was pink or green for him. Buying the pink throws more cash into here, allows him to make it to Boise, which is important because now we could shift either north towards Seattle, which is perfectly good, or south, uh, which doesn't look pleasant at all. <laughs> the only problem is we may not make it to Seattle. We're down to one more cheap share. If that sells, there's not gonna be much money going in. And as it is, shares are worth seven bucks each. Pink is not gonna get seven bucks in their company. Uh, if things run. So pretty much it's going to get victory points for what one, two uh, for making the two regions. I think another one for the continental divide that's three. Let's see what the victory points are. Central Western continental divide. Okay that's four and sold out. It's going to be worth five victory points. That's still pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
five to a normal port is probably the best. Now, let me make sure I've got the right ports here. So this says Los Angeles somewhere. Okay, so they got rid of, apparently in the original version, uh, the map told you the victory points on the different spaces and they had uh, Seattle mistakenly marked as the two point space when it should be Los Angeles. And Los Angeles is definitely hard to get to. Then again, San Diego is probably pretty hard too, but uh, <laughs> Los Angeles is a little harder than San Diego, I guess. I guess. Not much. It's like one space further away. Um, but yeah, it's pretty clear that uh, pink is not going to make it off of what they have. In the time given, they're just not going to make enough money. They're going to be making five or six bucks a turn. This first jump is going to be 28 bucks. I don't have that. Uh, somebody buys that share, I have it. Maybe my next run, my next dividend, I have it. But it just doesn't look like the money's going to be there. All right, that puts us over here. And he has all kinds of things that he can't possibly run. Uh, he could buy another green and run that. And then he's got his yellows. He only has 23 bucks, which is going to limit him to the pinks and green. Got the hard call here. Put the money into pink. It's cheaper. I have more cash. My later investments, maybe I can buy two shares or something of something. Or maybe I can buy a share of something I wouldn't normally be able to get. <sighs> pink is worth, we decided, one, two, three, four, plus sold out, puts it to five bucks, or five victory points. Green is worth one, two, three, four, five, Maybe six. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> right? I mean, it's going to make it out here. Is it going to make it all the way out? Well, Eureka's not one of the ports. Unfortunately, the ports aren't marked in any sense. Um, and this may be the difference is that they should have a victory point marker. San Francisco. Wait, is San Francisco the bonus one? Yeah, San Francisco's the bonus one. I'm kind of on track to get there. Yeah, I'm going to buy the green because it allows me to run more track. It allows me to make it more and more likely that we can get to San Francisco. Remember, only one person can get in any one place. Is Sacramento one? That would be bad. San Diego, Los Angeles, Portland, Seattle, San Francisco. Looks like there's only five of them, and there's more than five companies. So not everybody can make a port. No matter what. But it looks like my math is no good. Or am I counting? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 20, 24, 30, 32, 40, 42, 44, 45, 53, 56, 60, 68. No, that's right. I thought I was, because uh, we haven't crossed the divide yet. I thought I, I got a different count the last time and it was off. Uh, <laughs> I don't like, oh shit. Again, I think it's very easy to make a mistake in this game. I didn't on pink, apparently. Maybe I haven't done anything. I don't know. But I counted them because I said, wow, pink's ahead of people who cross the divide. That just shows you how rich the red, the, uh, uh, the northern route actually really is. And the southern route. You can see the people went down there black and blue. They haven't gotten as far, but man, they're sure lagging. And Brown started with very little money. Hasn't been making much ground off of it. All right. Uh, this guy wants to buy his green track. I'm trying to decide how best to do it. You know, do I want to do I want to take jogs over to Pocatello? No, I want to run hard and fast as far as I can. And it looks to me like these big zeros here, that's fine. Let us get our way as quickly as possible to where we can run down and kind of maybe get to San Francisco with the quickest race, even if it means not boosting our income as much. He still has enough money to buy at least a green, I think. Maybe not him. 
He only has, to, uh, yeah, the guy who wants green, great. He only has 22 bucks. The pinks are all sold out. Oh, this guy picked up the last pink. This pretty much crushes any chances of pink making it very far. So now the people who own three shares of it will get to kind of try to optimize it. But with all those tokens, there just isn't the cash to get out of where they are. They'll increase their revenue from it. But there's no more ways to get cash into pink. So it's not making it to any of the ports. That's fine. It's worth five victory points each. Everybody who bought shares of that for as cheap as it was is pretty damn happy. Uh, that's pretty close to what you can get. Um, so now with everybody having enough money to buy something, the question kind of becomes, okay, well, yeah, if you buy something, what, what is it you want to buy? Putting lots of money in your own companies, especially in some place like here, so yellow could run up against the purple and green thing. Purple has a pile of cash on it. Green has a couple of people running it though, but nowhere near as much cash. The people with a couple of shares of green might want to help it, but on the other hand, maybe it makes more sense to invest more heavily in yellow and try to beat green. Throw more cash into yellow, see if you can speed past them. How much can we speak past? That's a good question. I mean, green could just drop down to here and they could do it in two turns, assuming they have the cash to do that, which if people are investing, they will. <laughs> um, so I don't know how much chance there is of shooting all the way over and coming over here, following this route and not getting San Francisco. It's going to be tough. Uh, I don't know if there's enough tokens. So let's see what we got. Three, six, seven, 17 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got one space, one space to, uh, to play off of in Portland. So it's one, two, three, four, five cities. Those are the only port cities. Um, Obviously, Yuma's not on the water. Sacramento. Uh, yeah, and Eureka. They, so, yeah, five, five, five cities going in. I'm just making sure to myself, yeah, does it doesn't make sense that those aren't ports. It would be nice if the ports were better distinguished. Um, but what this means is it's going to be tough. If you're not the guy who gets San Francisco, especially if you try seriously for San Francisco, um, you know, if I shoot down to here, say, and these guys are all following the same route, if I shoot down uh, to here with the intention of dropping down from San Clemente and it becomes obvious I've lost the race, I have used up my extra piece already. A piece that I could use to maybe grab Salt Lake City, get more income, buy more shares of other things, or even of green for whatever that's worth. So this is going to be a, a, a tough call. First person's over here, 27. He does not see anything he can do but green. And I think buying a green seems like a good idea. So I'm going to, can I get a green? Seven, yeah. 23. Uh, it seems like a good idea to get another share of that. If that's the only thing I can get, at least I'm getting some victory points off of it. Because who knows what happens if I hold on. Prices just keep going up a little bit. So, uh, And that'll mean a third person able to build green track. Now, this guy could actually sabotage green. Assuming he goes early enough. Many turns, this seems like an important one to go early. <laughs> Everybody took uh, the earliest choice they could, except for him. The reason he's not, I don't think anybody else is going to buy what he's going to buy. Uh, he's not sure what he's going to buy. <laughs> it ain't red, I'll tell you that. Um, but he has 41 bucks. He has a lot of different options of things he could buy. And he said, you know what? Next turn might be more important to me. I'm going to put myself in last place uh, in the playing order because 
I really, I don't, I'm not racing anyone here. Uh, I just really don't have any reason um, to be looking, you know, at going early. And maybe I will next time, so I might as well take the pass this time. I might be able to get a better option if I went early, but I wasn't going real early no matter what because we got these guys going on the very early end. Uh, and that means we're up to turn six. Only three more turns left. <laughs> and yeah, I know at least one of you is watching the, this game and hating it desperately. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> I don't know what to say, dude. You got a problem. <laughs> but yeah. And not because you hate it, but because you're watching it anyhow. <laughs> The first player buys another green, gives him a majority equivalent, shoots down the cheap, easy route that produces like one buck of income, but gets us closest to San Francisco. The problem is the number two player. He also can play in green. Unfortunately, with only 12 bucks, I have to use two of those to kill green in terms of getting to San Francisco. Now, if I kill it in San Francisco, will I be able to outrace purple? That's the big question. Purple's got 55 bucks to run down. Yellow has 85, 95 or so. But purple's got a lot of extra track. I would rather have green make it. <laughs> and I have two shares of green, or three shares actually, uh, then would I like to see um, purple beat me? And I'm really afraid that I don't have the cash to cut purple off. Let me calculate out what I have on yellow and that's gonna make the decision. If I can basically beat purple out as far as I can tell, but that's a tough call, you know, <laughs> then it'll make sense for me to just play green and buy something else. Now I only have 31 bucks, which means brown is probably the only other thing I can buy other than green. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> um, there was no way I could be purple as far as I can tell to San Francisco. So what I've done is I bought myself another green. Greens are a good purchase option. There's no question because they're worth one, two, three, four, five, six victory points already, which is more than pink is. And if they sell out, which they quite probably will because they're worth so many victory points and they're cheap, they'll be worth seven. <laughs> so buying that, locking it in there, seems like a decent choice. The income is up to 105 now, uh, which can't be marked on the track, but that's okay. Um, I mean, without doing what I just did. Um, and then for yellow, I ran to here, which gives me the opportunity to slice down to Los Angeles. I hope with 10 spaces. Yeah. Uh, and make a race for that. Uh, another option would be for Portland, which would be, that one's free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, I have one space leeway um, to run up to Portland, which is also good money. I can get one of the two. I'm pretty sure of that. I just don't think black and blue are in a condition to run across very easily. And pink is pretty much shut down. Red might be challenging getting Seattle or Portland. Um, no, well, actually I can't take C Seattle if it comes to that. I don't think. One, two, th wait, clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, yes, I could take Seattle as well. So I have an option on anything 
except really San Diego. San Diego I'm not taking a chance on, but I should be able to get one of the four ports, three ports that are available to me. Uh, I just don't see that the other players are going to challenge enough. In terms of like the northern ones, if purple doesn't take one of those, and if purple takes one of them, then I'm challenging making the run for Los Angeles against these guys, which looks easy. Uh, but if purple doesn't take one, well, I'm only really racing red for Seattle or Portland. Of course, if I make a bad choice, red might be able to shut me down. Um, brown is so far behind, I just don't think that they're in the play either. Uh, so, <laughs> it seemed reasonable to buy the green at this point. And that actually shuts other people down from being able to build green track. Now, I could have, I could not grab Fresno. No. Um, so I may have the option to buy the next thing. Right now, Salt Lake City, I think, is the best buy next to me. And that would probably be what I do, just to increase income, you know, unless somebody gets the lead in green somehow. That puts us over here. Pinks are. Well, I can run them, and then the blue, which is troubled. The green because, you know, <laughs> I mean, the only other thing maybe I could have afforded was a brown, so uh, it's not like I can help the blue and southern here on this turn. Now, of course, maybe next turn, but green's going to be producing some nice income. Uh, let's get in on our share of that and as well as the victory points. Blue and southern. I didn't have enough money to blast into here. Speed looks like it might be of the essence. I moved here. This is a little cheaper, I think, to blast through. It's hard to tell. Uh, I mean, this was the problem. It's hard to tell which one's cheaper. You know what? This going into San Diego, can I do it? So if I'm there, I only have one, two, three, four. No, I can't make it. Here, one, two, three, four, five, I can make it. Although I'm not gonna have the cash to do it. Here, I couldn't even move forward. And I need all my cubes right now. So, had to, had to do what I did, um, as far as I'm concerned. It's the only way for me to gain ground. I, I mean, if this was, let's see. Eight bucks difference. You know, it's even. Give me my 44 bucks back because Phoenix. The only advantage of this is it puts me on a straight line to Los Angeles, but maybe I'm not going to Los Angeles. So I'm going to take my 44 bucks and not build anything. It wasn't giving me any income anyway. And it's the first time I think a railroad has not built track but <laughs> I just didn't have the money to go over the hump there. Uh, the only difference is I get that extra 10 bucks of income, just a little cheaper, and I might be able to do both of these, but I doubt it. I don't think I, don't think I made all that money. I think somebody's gotta buy a share if it's, if it's gonna build two, two pieces, and at least I can make this space next turn. I don't think blue's gonna make it to the border, though. We'll see. This is the big hump. I get over that, it's kind of cheap. Uh, and over here, I guess pink can still. Pink has eight bucks. I can lay track, you know, into something like Milwaukee here and increase my income that way. It was imperative that I cut here because there's two extra victory points for it and it increases my revenue by 10. Now, I'm not gonna be able to make it anywhere. This is the money I have left for the rest of the game. There is no income coming into the company um, and no more shares to be sold. The question is what to do with the 38 bucks, which might be enough to buy something interesting. Honestly, it's not. The only 38, the only thing that is interesting to buy is my own share. Uh, the reason being for that, that I've already got a share of it, and I've got an investment in there that's fairly heavy. If I can boost that forward, that would be nice, but I can't afford it. Purple starts too high. It's 34 bucks. It's worth more than four extra here. 
It's with like 11 extra. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to buy that. I don't think that there's anything else that makes sense. I'd only be helping someone else. Whereas the green is guaranteed to get lots of victory points. Now, I would be helping myself too, but the green is just clearly the maximizer for victory points, especially since it's the cheapest thing I can buy still. At what, 26? <laughs> There's this horrible potential game of chicken where purple and yellow could interfere with each other. Um, if either one's willing to just say, screw it, I'll give you Los Angeles, let me take Seattle, or whatever. But <laughs> here's the problem. So if purple moves up to here, then maybe yellow can run down and make it the whole way. I don't know. Let's see what kind of income yellow is looking at. This is actually kind of important. So yellow has 66 bucks divided by five. Thirteen sounds like fourteen bucks per share. Fourteen, there's one share off. Fourteen comes off of that. Fifty-two is what we're gonna have. So fifty-two. Twelve, twenty, thirty-six, forty-four, fifty, sixty. We're not gonna make it. And obviously we can't make it to Seattle or Portland yet. <sighs> On the other hand, the run to Seattle is quite expensive. Um, could we make it? Do we have the space to spare that we could get it to San Diego? Because I fear the southern guys are not very good. So let's see how many pieces we have. We have three, which gets us one, two, maybe three to here. And then 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, obviously. 7, 8, 9, 10. We can probably make it to Seattle. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to mirror what Yellow does. Because we don't want to go over this 40 bucks space. Um, and leave the northern spaces out there. Now that's a bonus for brown and a real hose possibly for black and blue. Unless black or blue is able to come up with a lot of income, but it looks like we're gonna just shut them out of there. For this is if we decide to go north, we could get hurt by red. This is not as good as Portland, but I don't know. You know I just really don't know. And it sucks to be blue and black. They're not doing terribly well in the game overall, although he's got a bunch of these pinks. Um, but he may be my competition because of that. In which case, yeah, I think working together with Yellow, make sure one of us get, we both get our ports. We both have the same number of pieces. Whoever gets to Los Angeles gets a bonus because, you know, they can grab something like Salt Lake or something. San Diego is the full extent if you're running down this way. Um, but I just don't see taking a risk otherwise. Pendleton. Yeah, what, what is this? Let's see, we'd have one more because this would only cost us four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna spend the extra four. We may, may, no, we don't want to spend that. Yeah, we're gonna spend the extra four and make the run up through these rich areas because I have no guarantee that I'm gonna outperform yellow. Whereas Portland's worth more than San Diego almost as much as Los Angeles. I've got a shot at Seattle, and I've got these good things here. And in terms of victory points, it's all the same. And our final player buys a green as well. I mean, it's just worth too much. He didn't have enough money to help his red in any way. Helping red 
I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I could have blasted through these with tons of money, but I don't have that kind of money coming to me. So it was kind of a, okay, let's just run what Pink ran, and then we can come up here, shoot across kind of cheap, or honestly, <laughs> um, we could just shoot to here and run across kind of with better income um, and cheaper. Uh, the difference being how much we're worried about trying to race for Seattle. Now, given the purple is going up this way, we might be able to do it. We have a pretty good bankroll there. And if we can't make Seattle, we can definitely make Portland. So pretty much those two cities are accounted for, the way things sit, as long as yellow is going down this way. Uh, brown is being left out in the cold. Uh, purple or blue has a shot at getting... San Diego. And that's pretty much where we're sitting for that. It's time to pass out some income. Money on the companies, over a hundred here, for example. Of course, not all of them. Black is kind of struggling, trying to make their way through this mess. Blue, actually, having passed the turn, has some cash in hand. And we were going to go this way, so we should be okay. Uh, we don't have enough to go to Texas though, still, unless somebody buys a share now. With 51 bucks, we should probably be able to buy a blue share. 33 plus, I think it's about 8, so 41. So we can throw more cash into blue, um, try to kickstart it, try to make sure it gets to San Diego before black. And it looks like it has an easier route. Given that I'm doing this straight across, black's like, you know, winding around, whatever. And also a little lower on capital right now. Even if I buy a share of black, which I might well do, it's not going to be. And then there's the question of do you buy a share of this knowing it's losing, or do you invest in one of these other companies that's, you know, more likely to get you victory points. Uh, do you throw money into your own company in some kind of vain hope that you can uh, that you can win this race that doesn't look winnable to me? That's a, a decision this guy had to make with yellow, but here for black it's going to be a harder choice. Uh, what is the what is the big buy? Well, people have a lot of money now enough money to maybe buy more than one share. <laughs> We're down to brown is probably the cheapest at 24 plus eight, 32 bucks. It would take 64 bucks to be able, he could buy two browns. That would give him the lead in brown. He doesn't have enough. Yeah, only one person could do it. Um, he has to make, in order to do it, he has to make sure nobody else buys brown. So, you know, if this guy's going early and picking up a brown to try to help that. Brown's an interesting case. It looks like it's lost, but I could shoot up here and across with enough money. I don't think it's doable. But how am I going to win otherwise, you know? Uh, so maybe it's worth just, you know, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. I mean, I lost control of green. Green's got tons of money. It's got one cube. This guy's the only guy who can play it, so I should probably move green over there. But the fact that it's near the person who started it helps me kind of visualize the course of the game. Is it important? Oh, I actually have a lot of money here, don't I? No, it was 64 was the limit. You know, I don't think anybody's gonna buy into red. If they do, I can still buy into it if I want to. Red's got tons of money. I don't think money's an issue. Um, do I stay at six? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'll come back after I, uh, 
after I evaluate. Everybody held their turn order cards with one exception. The guy who can buy two browns. He said, you know, this is a valuable purchase for me. Grabbing two browns lets me set this up. I can work with him. We can beat out, you know, red. Uh, maybe purple, who's already made the run over here. I'm going early, so maybe I can get my yellows down there. I don't, I don't think I have enough money though. 65, huh? 20, 36. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. And purple does. Damn it. So purple could actually just run down here and ignore this. And then I would be in trouble because red can probably beat yellow. But yellow could go for San Diego. Oh, <laughs> do I want the brown? Do I want the race with yellow? Is that more important to me? Let's see, 20, 36, 44, 50, 60, 72. If he buys a purple, he can do it. He can't do it otherwise, I don't think. So we assume he buys a purple. Which means, what if I buy a yellow? I probably didn't want this. What if I buy a yellow? Can I make it down? 20, I just counted this, 36, 44, 50, 60, 72, 88, 96. 65 off of 96 is 31. A yellow is worth more than 31. So I can make it if I buy that yellow, which is, I think, what I have to do now. Probably should have thought about this more carefully if they had gone first and they had the option to do so, they could have run down here. We still think we're going to get Seattle, though. Um, so it's not too big a deal. Anyway, we'll move to turn seven. And this video has gone almost its hour, so I think I'm going to load it up.